Warner Robins Council met tonight, days after the mayor suspended Development Authority Director Gary Lee. Zach Merchant was there and he joins us to explain how the meeting played out. Yeah, we first told you about that suspension on Friday and we suspected it would play a role in tonight's meeting, but at least in the public session, it re never really came up. But that does not mean city leaders agreed on everything that they talked about tonight. He also don't make the decisions for me, Mr. Thomas. Tempers occasionally flared at Monday night's Warner Robins City Council meeting. But the point is, why do you want to delay a project this important? Uh, first of all, let's get this clear. I talked to Mr. B.J. Walker today, who is the head of the Peach County Development Authority and one of the major players in the Joint Development Authority. So if he... Board, sir, I know if Mayor Andy Thompson, Councilman Tim Thomas clashed over a proposed $4 million sewer and water project, which Thomas says is designed to boost water pressure near a developing industrial park off of Highway 41 in Warner Robins. Thomas wanted the council to take a final vote on the project Monday night. I was disappointed in not getting all the votes. We had the mayor go against us. All the other council voted for it. It's, it's going to delay us two weeks. But Tom's, on the other hand, wanted to stick to the original agenda for the meeting and save the final vote for the next meeting. I do have to vote on my convictions, and that I'm not, you know, I'm not apologetic for that. I wanted to discuss this before tonight, and, it, and I didn't have that opportunity, so I, I did, didn't see anything wrong with waiting. Tom's blamed what he sees as developing political teams on city council for some of the drama. Oh, absolutely, and that's what, you know, I talked to, um, you know, Mr. Thomas afterwards, and I said, we got to break through this. I mean, we got to find a way to realize that we all want the betterment for the city. Thomas downplayed the disagreement, calling it a passionate debate from different sides and said he welcomes that kind of discussion. Lori, back to you. Thank you, Zach. According to Thomas, if that project is approved, it will help the city court a new company to its industrial park off of Highway 41 that requires 1 million gallons of water a day to operate. Mayor Tom said he supports many aspects of the project, but with a $4 million price tag, he doesn't want to rush things before approving the funds.